Alright, I'm going to show you how to modify or enhance the fire rate or FPS on your airsoft sniper rifle. Preferably an L96 AWOP. So what you have to do, you have to disassemble your gun and you take out the trigger system and then you pull that bolt out that's in the trigger system and you can pull your bolt out. I'll give a detailed video on how to do this sometime later, but it's not right now. So what you want to do, you have this and then you have your air nozzle, which is the part you're going to be doing work on. And what you want to do is there's two holes in it, one right there and one right there. And what you can do is take a pair of tweezers and put the tweezers on each of them holes and then unscrew it or use the pliers. But if you do use the pliers, put a cloth around the nozzle so it doesn't scratch it up. And then I've already unscrewed mine a bit for the video. So unscrew it and then it pops out. You have your nozzle. Yeah, that. Your spring and your trigger guard. Mine is messed up right now because it got burnt somehow so then you have your casing your bolt casing and your air nozzle so what you want to do with your air nozzle is it's a smaller valve hole than what you want to make it and that is what controls the airflow through your air nozzle um, hold on. So what you want to do is take your nozzle and put it in a vise or hold it tightly with pliers with a cloth around it. But if you don't want to use the cloth, that's at your own risk and you might scratch up your uh, nozzle. And don't squeeze it around the threads because then that'll screw your threads up and you can't get it back on. But what you want to do is you want to get a drill. I'm not going to use the drill, but I'll just show you with the drill bit. What you want to do is you want to get a drill and a drill bit. And a drill bit that is a drill bit bigger than this. A drill bit bigger than that nozzle hole. And you want to take that and then put your... Uh, air nozzle in a vise or whatever you're going to do and then slowly drill out this hole not all the way though but just so it increases the size and the depth of it and that will allow the airflow to go through faster and more pressure so it'll increase your FPS also you can take a smaller uh, drill bit and drill out through the nozzle piece and that will increase the airflow also and I'll be showing a video of the air nozzle I did before and that's on my other gun so then to put it back together you got your air nozzle that spring and trigger hold and then your bolt and so what you want to do is Take the bolt, trigger hold, put it down like that, take this piece, put it in there like that, and then take your air nozzle and press it all together and screw it on. And make sure it's got a tight seal. Don't Make sure it has a tight seal like that. Don't have it like this where the O-ring is sh showing because then air will release. And then what else you can do is you can put airsoft lubrication oil in there. Or you can use Vaseline but that might eat away at your parts after a long period of time. And then put airsoft lubrication oil on the bolt so it will slide easier and that's it and then assemble your gun put it all back together and it should be shooting a bit faster and a bit stronger and you might get a bit more range so that's it bye